The substation of the Vineyard Wind Farm is complete and the project is beginning to take shape and come to life. The next stop on the journey, assembling the massive turbines for operation. In terms of generating power, the tower of the turbine comes in three sections. The bottom two sections are pre-assembled in New Bedford, shipped out to location. The top section of tower is put on the two conjoined pieces. Next comes the nacelle, and then each blade is secured to the nacelle. As the blades rotate, it generates energy, which travels down through the turbine into the interray cables, which all connect to the offshore substation, the ESP. From the ESP, there are two export cables that take the power to the beach landing in Cobles Beach in Barnstable. And then there's about five or six miles of underground cabling that goes to the substation. We're responsible for making the high voltage splice termination of the T1, T2 section of the tower. A lot of grounding, bonding, temp power. We do VLF testing. You know, we do a lot of like setting up on top of the nacelles. We do all the prep for like the lightning rods and stuff like that. It honestly kind of feels pretty surreal. Like you hear about like these big PLA projects and you're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be great for our unit. Then you end up on one and you see what it's about and you're just, it, you get a sense of community between everybody in the company. The NECA IBEW Powering America team has committed to quarterly meetings with other key organizations to ensure that all channels of communication are open and that lessons are being learned. By meeting regularly, international developers, contractors, and labor find common ground for timely paths to success. For the scale of this project, a tripartite meeting is essential. It brings, it brings all the facets of the project together. What's coming up? What's happening next? Where do we stand from here? What is the problem? The main situation is to make this project move as smooth as possible. And you need that communication. You need everybody sitting at the table. Everybody understands that this is what's going on. We all have the main objectives. We want to get to the end point. It's a win-win situation. This is a brand new type of a market coming to the United States. It's going to be filling up the Gulf Coast. It'll start going out on the West Coast. Vineyard Winds is the initial kickoff for this. And that's what's really important. And making sure that, that you know these tax dollars are staying within American households and American families and American workers. It, it's just amazing. We've done a lot of firsts, but you'll never be the first one to work on a wind project again. So it's a learning experience for everybody in the union trades, which everybody's willing to do. And it's everybody's dream to continue on doing this work. Um, it's the future. Our initial estimates for union labor on this project were around 500 positions. We've since more than doubled that, and I believe about 400 of those are IBEW electricians. The people that we had out on these projects from the IBEW did an unbelievable job, incredible job. They dealt with things that they have never seen before. Being on the water, getting on a vessel, it's a tough thing, especially when you're doing three weeks at a time. But as the IBEW, this is a project that we can do day in, day out all the time, 365 days a year. We know how to do this work. This process is starting standards and, and policies to dictate the where this industry goes in our, in our country, and it, it's very important. The ability of our men and women to work with some of the biggest and most massive mechanical ships and hoists and working out there on the high seas is extremely inspirational and amazing and such an intense feat. Being out there in the extreme elements, you know, 365 days a year, it's amazing seeing what we can accomplish. People should care about wind energy because it's a, a sustainable energy source. It's the future, it's clean. You know, the reason I care about this industry is because we're building a new U.S. workforce, and that's what I'm very proud about. My personal mission statement is making U.S. offshore wind U.S. offshore wind, and really taking it to the next level, building the future of our energy infrastructure.